So today we are going to see about a physio dispenser, how to use a physio dispenser. So I have a physio dispenser with me over here. So I'm just going to show you what all components are there and how to connect them first. So once the connection is done, then we will go ahead to use how to, how it is being used. Okay. So first thing first, we'll see the back. So over here you have a power cable where the power cable goes in and this is where your footrest uh, goes in. Okay. So into the power cable right now, we are going to see how the power cable goes in. So this is a power cable. Okay. And then we have the cable for the footrest, which has an arrow marking over here. And you can see one arrow marking over here as well. So this arrow marking goes into this like that. It maps in. So this part is over. So all your work over here is over. You have a switch here to connect your power in. So now your power is on. Okay, so I'm just switching it off for the time being and I'm going to turn it upside down here, turn it over. Okay, on this side you have two components that goes in. One is your handpiece cable that goes in. So this is where your handpiece cable goes in. So you can see there's a red marking over here on the handpiece cable. Yes, now the same, this is a very old physio dispenser which we have been using for years now. So that is why it's all that messy. And you can see one red marking over here. So you coincide with it. Don't change the position, just push it in. Okay, and then you have to press this button over here. So this chamber opens up. Okay, this is where your saline tube goes and gets attached to. Okay, so this saline tube has a flexible end over here. So it has a knob over here and the bottom. So this top knob will go into the top notch over here and then you pull it and then you engage into the bottom part. So once it is done, you can press it down and that's done. Okay, and then you have a stand that is used for uh, you know suspending your saline. So now you have your saline over here. Okay, and then you're going to suspend it on top of this. So that is basically about the connections. Over here you have the cable of the saline that comes here that goes into your handpiece like that. And then your handpiece itself would get attached to your motor like that. Okay. So this is all coming to the attachments that are there with your physio dispenser. So once you get all these attachments into place, you've got your physio dispenser ready to work. Now we will switch on the pump now. Now you can see it's uh, it's switched on, okay? So now we will have to see how I will be able to control these with my foot pad as well. So I'm gonna bring this up here, okay? So I'm gonna keep it up here so that it will be easy for you to see the entire setting in a same platform, okay? So you can see that there's a display over here and then you have certain amount of uh, modes that are there in the bottom end. You have two switches over here that is for your increasing and decreasing of your RPM or your torque that is respectively. Okay, so if this is, it has to be under 20 is to 1. Okay, so we are going to see when I say 20 is to 1 is the one that we are going to use for your implants. So you have to make sure that your handpiece is also a 20 is to 1 handpiece. Okay, so you can see that the handpiece has a 20 is to 1 written on the handpiece. Okay, and then you would stick on to the same mode of 20 is to 1 over here. Now, in when you are in the 20 is to 1 mode, you have in the display, you have two things that is the RPM and the saline. Okay, so the RPM can be altered with the up and down button that is over here. So it will depend on where you're going to place your implant, how you're going to place your implant. It will depend on whether you're going to condense graft or not going to condense graft. So it is going to depend on a lot of those kind of things over there. So you can control your RPM up and you can control your RPM down. Okay. Apart from this, in this mode, you have uh, the next thing you can control is your saline. So you can see a small drop of uh, droplet over here. So if I want to switch this off, I can switch it off by just pressing this green button over here. So once I press it off, it goes off. Okay, so before I explain this, I have to explain how the foot pad works. So this is the pedal that we're going to press to see if the drill is working. So you can see that the drill is working. Okay, so the drill is working over there. Okay, so and then this is the switch that we're going to see if the saline is going to be active or not. So if I press it, the saline is active. If I press it back down, the saline is off. Okay, so you can see this droplet over here disappearing. So you can use your foot to control your saline as well. 
okay and then the next one is the orange button over here that is to control your program so what look what happens when i press this so when i press this it switches from the driving the implant drive program to the in, uh, it controls from the drilling program to the implant drive program and then as well as you can just keep changing your program so since we are going to talk about only implants here we are going to stick on to these two programs for the time being we are not going to talk about the rest of the programs that the physio dispenser is going to give so in the implant program you have to worry about only these two this is the program that you are going to use for drilling your implant uh, into the drilling into the bone that's your osteotomy and this is the program that you're going to use to place the implant into the bone. Okay, so this is for your changing your programs. And this uh, switch over here is going to make uh, your implant move forward or backward. Like if I want to drill the bone or if I want to use do reverse mode of removing the implant. If I want to put it in or remove it out. So if you can see that this button over here, if it is constantly burning, that means your implant is or your handpiece is in the forward mode okay so it's going to keep drilling into bone at the same time when i press this you can see that this starts to blink so if it starts to blink that means your implant is in a reverse mode that means your drill will be rotating in the opposite direction so this will be mostly used when you are going to do your osseo condensation with your denser burrs or you're going to place an implant inside with an implant drive mode and you want to remove the implant out or you want to retrieve the drill or anything that has to be retrieved or condensed you're going to use this mode okay whereas this is the mode which you'll be using that is a continuously burning mode is the drill mode that you'll be using to drill into the bone so you'll be going to when you're using this one you'll be have you'll be able to do your osteotomies you can be drilling into the bone okay so that is what that actually means now we will see what is the difference in the RPM. So you have different RPMs here. So I can I told you that I can control it over here. So I'm going to keep it under an optimum RPM of 1200 for the time. Okay. Now we'll see how it changes. So you can see just concentrate on here and I'm going to press the pedal and you can see that the drill is moving in a very fast speed. Okay. So now just see what happens if I change the mode. Now I'm going to change it to the implant drive mode now i'm going to press the pedal now you can see the speed in which your drill is moving okay so in this actually you're not supposed to be using your drill this you will have something called an implant carrier will come in where your implant will be carried and the implant can go into bone okay so that is what we will be using the implant drive mode for okay so what happens your rpm reduces and it is morely concentrating on your torque okay so you can see the difference in rpm over here so the rpm is slow in this mode okay so now if i move it to the implant drill mode that is the osteotomy mode you can see that the drill is moving much faster okay so this is the difference between the rpm when it comes to these two modes okay so in this implant mode which you are going to place your implant you can change your newton centimeter that means the torque Okay, you can increase the torque to maximum about 70 here. 70 is the maximum torque that you can use with your handpiece. And you can make it down as low as 5. Okay, so you will be keeping it at an optimum. That is your 35 is your optimum. That is a minimum required primary stability. So you will be keeping that. So this is for your implant drive mode. Okay, so this is basically it. You have your stand which is, has uh, three buttons over here. This controls your saline. This controls your program, this controls your forward and reverse movement and then you have two modes over here. One controls your osteotomy, one controls your implant placement into the bone. Okay, so these are the basic uh, structures of the physio dispenser that you have over here. Okay, so now I'll just show you how the saline works. So if I press the green button over here, you can see this button over here which is active. Okay, so I'll just move it to the drive mode. You can see the saline is on. I'm going to keep this here and then I'm just going to press this button over here so you can see that the, the pump starts to work and then you can see that the saline is there. Okay. Now if I switch off the saline, I have no saline marking over here, it is switched off. Now when I press it, I will not have saline coming out of it. Okay. So this is another thing that you can control with your foot. Okay. So looking forward to the next video. Till then, bye-bye.